Hey guys, it's Ryan with My Listing Club. Today I wanted to do a video based on a post that was made in our Facebook group yesterday. Typically I would do a My Listing Q&A video um, for this particular thing, but I think this warrants a, a full tutorial video. It won't be super long, but uh, we'll just we'll just do it here um, just kind of on the fly. No rehearsal, nothing like that. Just uh, something quick and dirty to get out there. So the question came in, I'll just read it off um, and, and maybe you guys can help me interpret it if I'm interpreting it wrong. But um, so the question is, is there any documentation on how to do this? And by this, this person means I'm creating a directory website for various professionals, doctors, photographers, etc. I want them to register using one of my packages. And when they register, I want to show their profiles and search results. Do you think it's possible with a My Listing theme? I'm asking because I'm only able to see options to add listings, i.e. agents will register and add their listings. So my interpretation of this question is, is can you essentially add listings on behalf of users after they purchase a package? Okay. Um, so regardless of whether I'm interpreting this right or not, um, this video is going to be about how to create listings on behalf of listing owners that have purchased a package but don't necessarily want to or you don't want to allow them to create a, uh, a listing from the front end. Okay. So for that, I'm going to actually pull up um, another my listing website that I've created. And that's... That's kind of what's going on here um, as far as the packages go. So if you click the get started button and then um, sign up, let me see if I have, uh, let's see. So yeah, so you click sign up there and then you, you sign up for a package. Now, typically what this does with a my listing website is it runs you through the ad listing process. So with this particular site, I've configured it differently. It's literally just uh, Elementor's uh, pricing tables. And when you click the sign up button, it's just, it drops you right into the cart and you can sign up. Okay. So once they've signed up, you then see that order come through in the back end, And then you, the, the, um, the website owner can go in and create the listings, or you could have an editor role, do the listings etc cetera, etc cetera. Um, but also so once this person buys this they can actually go in and add the list add the listings to it if they want to um, it'll just show up as a package um, with their their account on your my listing website and then at that time let's just pretend that they've purchased a package um, they can then go and get started again and we're assuming they've already signed up signed in and then they just go to add their listings just like just like they normally would So you can see here, this person hasn't actually bought the package, but if they did, they could use it just like the normal My Listing Flow. Okay, so that's a, that's the way that I would approach it, um, or one way you could approach it for for selling packages, but not necessarily having the listing owners create the listing themselves. Okay, so it's a nice nice option there. Okay, so here I am on the Sandbox website, and we're going to look at ways that we can do that. Um, and back end here, um, outside of the package. So I just, I'm not going to cover that. Um, that would be a whole separate thing, but I showed you on that other website that how, how to do it. It's super easy. Uh, you just create the pricing table and then that's pretty much it. Um, uh, and then those packages are, you know, the, my listing subscription packages, or they could be the, my listing default types of packages. So let's assume our packages are set up and, and all that good stuff. Um, so here I'm in, I am on the test, testing site for my listing club. I'm going to jump into the back end. And um, once you have those, uh, let's see if I got go to orders here. Once you have that package um, purchased, I'll go ahead and just mark this one completed. This would be done automatically, obviously, on your site. Um, if it's not, there's a code snippet to do that. But that order has now came come through. 
And this is our fictitious user, Ryan, uh, order number 989. Okay, so now we want to create a listing on behalf of that owner. So simply go to listings as you normally would and then add new. This is Ryan's listing. Choose the listing type you want. And then uh, under package, we see that there, there's an option to switch package. Okay, so let's go ahead and just publish this listing for now. I could say, you could also just save it as a draft. So if we click into this switch package, go ahead and say okay there. It's gonna show you that no one's actually bought a package. Okay, but you know that someone has purchased a package right here. So if we go into that order again, they have purchased default ML package. That's just a, a bogus name for a package, okay? So if we drop down here into users, paid listing packages, let's add a new one for, for, that, for that Ryan person, okay? And then, um, you don't need to set any of this up because it's already set up in your in the package. Let me quickly show you that. So under products, this is that default that package here. So in this package, it's it's we see here it's the default type of listing package. It's not a my listing. Uh, it's not a subscription with WooCommerce or anything like that. It's just the default. Uh, so in this package, we are defining the parameters whether they're featured, how long the duration is, how many listings they can have, et cetera, et cetera. So we don't need to redefine that all over again. So let's just jump back into this, add a new package. So we don't need to define all of the package details. Again, we've already done that because based on what they've purchased, okay? So what we wanna do is just select the user. And I think that's me here. Um, and then the product, You can do you can do that, or you can skip that and just do the. Uh, let me just refresh this. So what we want to do is, is just uh, that. What I did there is let's assume they haven't bought a package, and you just want you just they they haven't ordered anything. They haven't bought a package. You just want to manually go in and assign it that way. That's one way you can do it. Is just just assign them the product and, pub and go ahead and publish that, and that automatically get grants them that package, okay? So here I am again, let's we'll select the user. Now we wanna select the order. So as we said, it's the 989 number, uh, I believe, let me make sure, 989, yeah, 9, 989 is the order number. So then you just assign that there and publish. Now let's go back to that listing, we'll just update it. Click on switch package, say okay, and there we go. So now we see the order is in here, or the package is in there and available to be assigned. There we go. So at this point, you have a, a customer who has purchased a package from the, your MyListing website. You are gonna be the one that adds the listings. As we just shown here, we, we did that as an admin. Now you might have multiple people on your team, like multiple like editors um, that are part of your team, or maybe you hire a VA, a virtual assistant that they just do nothing but add listings for your website. Um, they could go in with the editor role and just take care of all of this for you. So once again, this video is about how to add listings on behalf of your listing owners, whether just entirely um, that's entire, your entire business model, how you, you're doing it, or one-offs, or you're going to do a hybrid, like whatever the approach is, that's how you do it. Uh, I hope that answers the question that was brought to the community, but if it doesn't, I think this more broadly uh, will help people see how this was done. Okay. All right. Uh, thanks a lot. Have a good one. Bye.